Hi guys, it is evening and I am finally assuaging my guilt for not making a video in a really long time. Finally making another one. Um, I haven't done it in a while. Just haven't really had the energy. Maybe I haven't picked the right place to do so because this is a very crowded um, part of the AT, the boardwalk. So there's all sorts of day hikers here. Um, so I'm now in the northern part of New Jersey. Um, and the last probably 20 miles hasn't been too rocky, but the 200 miles before that, 150 miles before that, were extremely rocky, so um, it's been a rough couple weeks for me on the trail also. Been dealing with the hottest temperatures that I've experienced on the trail so far. Um, I grew up in a colder environment, so I'm not super comfortable with very hot summers and dislike heat. So, I mean, we haven't had like any record-breaking temperatures. Well, not many. We've had, but in the last couple weeks, it's finally just been getting super hot, like, um, with just checking to see how many more day hikers there are. With the weather forecast, um, including humidity, temperatures were like mid 90s, and that is just really um, hard to be in the sun all day when you're, and hard to be walking. Um, when it's that hot over rock fields with very little shade. So it's been kind of a low time on my hike, I would say, which is why I haven't really been feeling making videos. I know I was going to show you what my experience was like, but I was just having a really rough time with the terrain and um, also just feeling really nauseated and tired from the heat and was having phone issues too. I ended up getting a, having to replace my phone. Um, so all those things combined to ensure that I haven't done anything in terms of updating in a while. But tomorrow I'm going to be crossing into New York. We, the AT kind of straddles the border between New York and New Jersey as it does so often, uh, pretty much throughout the trail. So I am going to be doing like the cross into New York tomorrow. And the train looks like it's gonna be okay until you actually cross into New York when there's that warning in the AWOL's uh, AT guide that says, this is, it looks really flat, but it's really difficult terrain, so I'm not looking forward to more of that. The rocks don't end in Pennsylvania. They get a little less, like, after Sunfish Pond, you don't have big rock fields. They're just scattered throughout the trail and they're also not moving which is nice so you don't have to like watch where you step as much but they're still annoyingly present for most of New Jersey up until High Point State Park where they at High Point Shelter they petered out somewhat so basically from Duncannon to High Point Shelter more or less the vast majority uh, for a substantial portion of the time, you were just walking over rocks. Um, and then yesterday, I got to High Point, and today, 
really hasn't been too bad at all. So I know it's going to get bad right after going back into New York and maybe I can record that. I saw on Twitter or on Instagram somebody who had gotten injured crossing the New Jersey, New York state line, like tripped and hurt herself, hurt her wrist or something. So um, I know that it is a place where you have to be kind of careful. Um, my shoes, I need to do a gear review because I've changed a lot of my gear. A lot of people have been asking me to tell you about the gear changes I've made in the next couple days. Hopefully when I post this video, I'll also be able to post um, my gear review because tons of stuff has changed about my gear. And I think it's better gear now, generally. Um, I'm happier with it. I think I've cut down. I think I've cut down on my weight somewhat, even though now I'm actually carrying a slightly heavier bag than I was carrying. slightly heavier bag than I was carrying before, but I'm uh, the amount of weight that I'm having to bring with me when I'm hiking. So that's a good thing. Um, the other thing is it's been, it's getting to the point in terms of heat where it's so hot that some nights it's hard to sleep at night, which is really unpleasant uh, and oh, shoot not something I completely expected given uh, given just my experiences in the last few months on the trail but unfortunately it has been somewhat challenging for a while. There was one shelter, I can't remember where it was, not too long ago in New Jersey, where the mosquitoes were just so, so awful. New Jersey's kind of, there are places where it's kind of boggy, I think, and then uh, it's just hot, and so the mosquito problem is just one of the worst that I've encountered so far, and maybe it's just that time of year, but if I sit down, um, I'm getting harassed by mosquitoes and they don't really care that you're wearing bug spray. The other thing that's been happening a lot in these last couple weeks is um, rattlesnakes. I have encountered, what, five so far and generally just I've come across four on the trail itself now. Uh, they are pretty big in some sections of New Jersey, like there's in Pennsylvania, there's a lot of them. And I saw that somebody in Northwest Pennsylvania, I think just died from a rattlesnake bite. So people need to treat them with respect. Unfortunately, not everyone wants to respect rattlesnakes. Like, I saw someone poking at a rattlesnake. Like, there's a rattlesnake near a shelter not too long ago and wasn't really doing anything, wasn't rattling or wasn't doing anything, wasn't rattling or bothering anyone or anything. And someone just decided to start harassing the rattlesnake by poking it with a trekking pole to see if it would start rattling. And eventually, of course, it did start rattling, but if they're not bothering you, don't harass them. Um, they, do some good and it's surprising 
I've seen a few hikers who really just don't have any respect for rattlesnakes or want them to die or like all rattlesnakes or don't think that they should stop if they see a rattlesnake. And I just don't, I'm oh, sorry, I'm having trouble. I don't um, endorse not having some uh, fear, because I think it's a good idea, like, not to be terrified of them, but since they do have the potential to be dangerous, just being a little wary would be wise, um, but I know that some people say you see rattlesnakes and they never, they don't usually rattle at you, but the ones I've encountered, all of them have rattled at me at least briefly and then I back up and wait and then they eventually, they go away or um, one, I realized I was going the wrong way and there was this huge rattlesnake in the path of the wrong direction I was going. So I backed off for a while and then turned around and went the correct way. So I was lucky because that was the biggest rattlesnake I've seen that I didn't actually have to go in that direction. Uh, what else? Yeah, my feet are hurting right now. My shoes are just beat. So I'm not getting new ones until like 100, uh, 50 miles into New York, 80 miles into New York. So uh, my shoes are really gonna be beat before they, that's through. I'm not really, I'm still struggling with finding the correct shoes for me. I'm going back to trail runners after trying these boots, just because I don't think the boots offer me as much as I thought they did. And trail runners are definitely ultimately more comfy, which is what you need when you're walking outside all day and it's 95 degrees. You need something that breathes decently. Um, even if it's just for the next month and then in September when it gets uh, colder again maybe it won't be so necessary to have such a lightweight shoe but I'm excited to switch back in. I've been using green super feet insoles and I have to say I'm not very happy with how they feel on my heel. Um, I had some sole custom fitted insoles that had been heat fitted to my foot. I wasn't thrilled with those, but I think, I thought the super feet would be an improvement, but I think they're even worse. And they're not giving me, I know they're supposed to like hold your foot in place, so they're not so much for padding. But they really don't feel like they're giving me enough uh, heel support. So I want to get something a little cushier. So I'm trying Spenko insoles. And I'm hoping that those work better for my feet. We're going to find out very soon. Because I'm going to get them in New York when I get my new shoes. So now I'm trying some Merrill. Oh. I'm being really clumsy today. I'm trying some Merrill Trail Runners so that I can see if those are going to work better for my foot than the other ones I've tried so far. Um, and I need to do a shoe review video too. Anyways, you guys, I should go because I need to make like probably another mile before dark. So talk to you later. Bye.